الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام النبی نہ محمد ولا علی و صحبی و سلم اما بعد حبت فلا وٹس امیزنگ فرام اللہ عز و جیلس کریشن از ہاؤ فاسٹ تھنگز بلاسم ان گرو in Allah Tabaraka Ta'ala's beautiful, beautiful creation. Two months ago, all of this was very short, short grass, and now it has grown as if it's a wild forest. And perhaps the animals are flourishing even more so than usual. I was able to go down and descend to those rocks down there prior, just two months ago. And now I can't even get down there because of the bush. And there's no doubt that this is from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's vast and beautiful, beautiful creation. The ayat koniya, as you've heard me discuss many times, to talk about the ayat koniya, <clears throat> meaning the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which shows us the and proves the existence of Allah Azza wa Jal and that he tabarak wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship and so that's what we're referring to when we're talking about the ayat koniya and the ayat shar'iya this is in reference to the quranic verses and the things that are like the, the laws and the ahkam of the shir which comes from the book and the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam Habitifillah, I just want to talk very briefly about the importance of ikhlas wa thabat meaning sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by worshiping him and him alone and thabat meaning the firmness on the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam so ikhlas with thabat is what we need for our worship and, and another way that it's referred to by the scholars of Ahlul Sunnah is it's also referred to as the two ways or two conditions for having your deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that means that your worship is of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone that's sincerity ikhlas and that it's in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and that's referred to as mutabi' that is that so for example when we supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we supplicate only to Allah Azza wa Jal. we don't supplicate to the dead we don't supplicate to your ancestors or my ancestors or saints whether living or dead and we go, don't make tawaf around the graves and we don't do any thing especially with regards to that supplication or in fact any forms of ibadah that all of it is directed to Allah Azza wa Jal. so that's what it means ikhlas sincerity then when we refer to mutaba or following I mean we're talking about following the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because he's the last Prophet alayhi salatu was salam and his sunnah is what we're asked to follow the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam said alaykum bi sunnati it's upon you my sunnah the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam said man ragaba an sunnati fa laysa minni whoever attempts to or whoever desires other than my sunnah then they're not from they're not from me meaning they're not from 
my followers, meaning they're not from Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, not that they are not Muslim. But it also depends on their level of mukhalifa command. It depends on how much they deviate from the Sunnah, meaning have they negated and they don't believe in the Sunnah? Okay, then they're not from the Ummah at all, they're not Muslim. If they don't believe in the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam, like the extreme Qur'aniyun. <clears throat> and if they just have doubts about things in the Sunnah, then they are Mubtadiya. Meaning they, they doubt its authenticity or they have some shubha, some doubt that needs to be removed in regards to the Sunnah <clears throat> because of their jahil, because of their ta'wil, <clears throat> and that they're not an extreme rejecter of the Sunnah of the Prophet. ﷺ, then, of course, then this person has fallen into mub, uh, bid'ah and they are a mubtadiyah in that sense and they need the guidance of Allah. They need ilm al nafiyah. And of course, their hearts need to be open to accept ilm al nafiyah. So those are the two conditions for having our deeds accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What are they? They are sincerity to Allah, ikhlas, lillah, and mutabi, and following the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. We ask Allah جل, the Almighty, to accept our good <clears throat> and forgive our evil. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from Ahl Sunnah, from Ahl Ikhlas, with Thabat, following the Sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam in our aqwal, our statements, and our a'mal, in our, our deeds, and in our belief. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.